Hi, today let's install an L1 series inverter. It can work with battery, optimizer, and meter. First, install the L1 series inverter. Unpack and ensure the accessories are complete. You need to prepare the cables by yourself. Next, let's start installing the inverter. Install the wall mounting bracket. First step, mark mounting holes with the line tool. Ensure the tool is horizontal. Second step, drill holes one by one. Third step, install the wall mounting bracket in the upper two holes and tighten the expansion bolts. Mount the inverter to the bracket and secure the bottom with expansion bolts. Next, let's install the smart dongle and antenna. Insert the SIM card first. Before the installation, contact the carrier to prepare a standard 4G SIM card. The recommended traffic is 100 MB per month. If you hear a click, it's properly assembled. Then install the smart dongle into the inverter and tighten it. Install the, in the antenna to the inverter and tighten it. Next, follow me to connect the cables together. There are four ports at the bottom of the inverter. PV port, battery port, signal port, and AC port. Connect the DC cable to the PV panel and battery the signal cable to the meter and battery, and the AC cable to the distribution box. Pay attention! Before connecting cables, ensure the DC switch is off. Install the PE cable of the inverter and connect it to the ground bar. Then install the PE DC power cable. There are four steps, taking the positive pole as an example, crimping, inserting, fastening. Connect one end of the PV cable to the inverter and the other end to the PV module. Then the connection is complete. Next, install the battery DC power cable in the same way as the PV DC power cable. Connect one end of the battery cable to the inverter and the other end to the battery. The connection is complete. Connect the signal cable. First, let's see how to make signal terminals. Take the connection of battery and meter to the inverter as an example. Remove the signal terminals Pay attention! When the meter and battery are connected at the same time, the RS-485 signal cable must be crimped into the same terminal. Then install the signal cable to the signal terminal. Last, reassemble the communication terminal and seal the unused cable holes on the waterproof rubber plug. Signal terminals can be connected to inverter, electric meters, battery, quick shutdown switches and power grid scheduling device. Install the RS-485 signal cable between cascaded inverters. Install the RS-485 and enable signal cables between the inverter and the battery. Install signal cables between the inverter and the quick shutdown switch. Install AC cables in the sequence of removing terminals, routing cables, crimping cables. Install the AC terminal on the inverter. The cable connection is complete. Congratulations on the installation of the L1 series inverter. Thank you for watching. If you need more help, please keep your attention to the Fusion Solar Surface and thanks.